I'm Pete Bauer from Bowery Boatworks. We make handmade wooden canoes in Ada, Michigan. Plastic, you know, relatively inexpensive kayaks were coming out. I thought, that'd be cool. So I went and I bought a couple of them and put them in the lake and thought, this is gonna be sweet. And I go out and I paddle and it, it sucked. It wasn't fun, it was supposed to be fun. They were slow, you paddle, and paddle, and paddle, and paddle, you don't go anyplace. And that started the journey. I went out and bought another one and switched to a couple different ones and eventually went through a litany of them and decided, screw it, I'm gonna make my own. And uh, I'm probably two dozen iterations of boats to get to where I'm at right now. I've done sea kayaks, I've done double canoes, I've done solo canoes and stuff like that. And it's kind of like working your way through a recipe until you get something that tastes like you want it to taste like. So um, it's taken a long time. When people ask me how long they last, um, my favorite answer is um, they'll outlast you and, and with a modicum of care they'll outlast whoever you leave it to. Simple. There's nothing really to break on it. Um, if you just plain give it a little bit of care and don't beat the hell out of it, honestly, it should last well over a hundred years and probably more. Uh, the place that's close to home for me and near to my heart is the Adirondacks up in upstate New York. Um, People, most people aren't familiar, but it's a chunk of, chunk of wilderness and east of the Mississippi. It's very wild and pristine. And um, there's something magical about being able to paddle through water and look down in 12 feet of water and see the bottom, see crayfish and stuff. It's pretty cool. We don't have a lot of clear water here so much anymore. I'm Jenny Bauer and Pete is my husband and together we're building Bowery Boat Works. The reason that it's so close and near and dear to my heart is that's kind of the origin of these boats. There's lots of lakes, lots of rivers and streams, and they're in close proximity with short carries or portages in between. And so a little boat that's lightweight, that paddles well on the water but carries well across land is, is paramount, and that's where these were developed. And the easier it is to use, the more likely you'll get out and use it more. The more you use it, the more you like it. The more you like it, the more you use it, and it's, it's good medicine. and one of the, the goals is um, they're not bright pink or bright orange or something unnatural. They're wood. They, they fit into their surroundings and it call me nuts, but at some level the loons know that and they'll, they'll come in proximity. They'll kind of hang around you and stay around you where normally they'll disappear. If you hear a loon, you're in the right place. It's, it's very affirming. It's a really cool thing. Pete has a different take on the world. He's always kind of approached things differently, and he has a very deep connection with the natural world. Truly, if you're out in nature, you're going to appreciate it. You're going to like it, and you're going to value it, and your actions are going to follow suit. You'll probably influence other people that way. Um, you'll live life a little lighter. You're not, you're not going to leave trash on the trail and stuff like that. You're going to, you're going to value what we have, and that's key. It's important. Some of the boats that I made are made out of marine grade plywood. This that I use today just has, a, I love the story behind it. It just makes me feel really good about using them, but it's called Okume. And it's a tree that grows in Gabon in um, Western Africa, Equatorial Africa. And they grow it, use the term plantation, you know, sustainable is overused, but where this is made, or where this is actually grown, they have a, a 1.4 million acre farm. It's a tree farm. With trees, they have that wood that's, le that's left over and can be put to good use. And that's exactly what they do. They grow them to their full age and then they cut them down and they turn them into something like this that'll last forever. The wooden boat disappeared because it was handcrafted. It requires hands-on. You have to lay every plank where it goes there's about a hundred planks in each of these boats, so it takes a lot of time. Time on the water always gives him that. It recharges him, it gives him an energy, and it gives him an inspiration that I think has played a part in Bowery Boat Works becoming what it is today. 
When I exit this planet, I'd love if there's a lot of wooden canoes out there and, and people making them, not just me. 